Hi, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content for Informa Farmer Intelligence's uh, Insights Portfolio. Uh, that includes the, the Pink Sheet, uh, Script and uh, InVivo. And we're here at the Bio Europe Spring Meeting uh, here in Stockholm. And I'm actually joined by uh, Dr. Dorta Graham, who's the CEO of, of actually one of Sweden's youngest uh, biotech companies, uh, Pila Pharma. So, so thanks very much for, 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 for joining us. So uh, you're a young company. Could you sort of just outline sort of the brief history of the company? Well, the brief history originally stems from a time when I worked at Novo Nordisk more than 10 years ago. I got a good idea. We filed a use patent application on a novel way to treat diabetes by blocking the chili receptor. And now we're combining with a clinical ready asset that we have just purchased. And we hope to move that into the clinic very fast. So it's, a, it's been a long history, but we are now into a phase where we can move very fast forward. Uh, in a dedicated program. So you've, you've in-licensed IP from Novo Nordisk and you've also got, uh, you bought and acquired an asset from somewhere else? Yes, that's true. Actually, the um, idea of uh, how to treat diabetes in this way was my own invention. All right. And uh, uh, we, we filed a use patent application, so the right to treat diabetes and actually also obesity by blocking the chili receptor is from back then. I bought it out from Novo and I did have it uh, filed, uh, issued as patents on my own expense. Right. And uh, after that, I founded Pila two years ago, got investors in, in Sweden. We have done a small preclinical program testing some clinically ready um, compounds. And we have chosen the one we think is best based on a number of criteria. So we have use patents, so we have the right to treat this way and we now have uh, uh, an asset which includes a, clinic, uh, includes a clinical ready compound that has been in many, uh, tested in many uh, uh, human beings and it also includes backup compounds, a broad patent portfolio and um, a, a lot of uh, knowledge of course. Right, okay. So the, um, you, you mentioned that the focus is on diabetes. Yes. I mean, the fact you were at Novo Nordisk, you know, you know that diabetes is a, uh, it's, it's a very, very busy area. I mean, I know it's an yes. area that everybody's very interested in. So what is it about the approach that you're taking that you think will make a difference for, for, for patients? Well, for sure, it's a very uh, difficult area to enter uh, from the small uh, company approach. It's difficult to raise capital because the studies you need to do in phase three are really big and costly. And this is because uh, patients, uh, diabetic patients, not only have hyperglycemia, they also have an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Yeah. And since uh, one compound has shown that it actually increases the risk of cardiovascular disease, the FDA has put on top on all of the companies that work in the diabetes field to investigate this prior to marketing and I think that's obviously a good, re a good idea even though it's very expensive. So what I think we can do is actually um, based on the um, basic um, scientific studies done in this field and also the few experiments we've done with uh, a selected um, antagonists of this receptor, we believe that we can both regulate blood glucose and lipids and thereby uh, reducing body uh, weight which in turn will lead to a at least not an increase in the cardiovascular risk, but hopefully a risk reduction. So we think we can be competitive uh, with uh, the um, uh, tablets that are already there. We are uh, wanting to develop an oral uh, anti-diabetic agent. Uh, so we think we can be competitive in terms of um, efficacy and uh, also in safety. Right. Uh, so you mentioned that this 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 compound. So you you basically repurposed drugs that already existed. I mean, what, what, what is, can you tell us what the compound is? It's a, a compound that uh, we've bought from a, a British uh, biotech uh, company called Ario Pharma, and uh, the molecule that we are hoping we can take into development now has the name XEN slash D0501. All right, so it's trips yeah. off the tongue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Send yeah. <laughs> of I01. Yeah. Yes, so uh, we find it uh, to be uh, in this uh, class of molecules to be uh, uh, well tolerated in man uh, according to the data we've seen so far. We have screened it and found it effective in regulating blood glucose in the diabetic uh, model. 
we haven't had the chance to look into lipids and cardiovascular effect, uh, but uh, we hope that with this compound we can get the approval from the authorities to move straight into diabetic patients and then to investigate the efficacy in the right model. Uh, okay, so this is um, you know, this is a, a partnering meeting where yes. there are you know there are pharma, there are other biotechs, mm -hmm. there are also investors. What are you hoping to achieve by your attendance? Because you're clearly a, a, a young company. Yes. Well, we're a young company, but we're quite far in the development pipeline, so to speak. So we, we are going to enter clinical trials, so first a single ascending dose in diabetic patients and then a small pilot experiment, phase two pilot, to look uh, for the efficacy in a fewer number of patients. And for that, we obviously need uh, some finances. So we are here to find uh, uh, or to meet again with potential investors in the company. Right. So who's, in, who's invested you to date? To date? Yeah, to date. Yes, who, who are your investors? Yes. Um, investors are, of course, myself. I've yeah. spent, a, a funded this project as far as possible. Uh, and uh, last year, Almi invested. It's a Swedish uh, uh, national investment fund has invested in the company, and uh, we have. Uh, they have financed this preclinical screen of uh, a handful of uh, these clinical ready um, antagonists. Right. And the sort of the kind of um, investors you're now looking for. Mm. Um, what? Who are you targeting and how much would you like to raise? Uh, we are raising, uh, we are hoping to raise uh, in total 7.5 million euros uh, divided into three slots, one plus two and a half plus four million euros. Uh, we are talking to anybody who wants to talk to us at the moment. Uh, we, I've been pitching broadly for two months now and now I hope that we will, in the, here Q2 2016, we'll move into final discussions with the interested parties. There are of course the venture route, there are possibilities for family offices or here in Sweden it's quite popular to, to uh, list uh, young companies at Aktietoit for instance and in that case it would be a, a, the IPU route. So we are looking at different possibilities and uh, we of course now that we have the asset want to move forward as fast as possible so uh, yeah. So. And, and how far do you think you would take, I mean say you get, get the funding that you require, mm. seven and a half million euros, mm. what's that going to buy you? Um, well, first of all, for the first one million euro, which is not a lot in this business, it's a lot for a small company uh, owned by no. a single person and uh, uh, a national investment fund. But one million euro will take us to first demonstrating that this compound is safe in diabetic patients. No. It has not been tested there uh, before, so the authorities acquire that. So safety is obviously a, a, a very important. And the second step will be, and we will do that as fast as we can thereafter, we will do um, assess the efficacy. Does it actually work in diabetics? And we will, of course, focus primarily, should regulate block the glucose and, and also the lipids. And if we don't have this efficacy, we will either <laughs> close or come up with the next compound. We have a couple of other compounds lined up that we can move forward, but not right now we are focusing on this one asset. And if this goes well, we will take it to a so-called CLAMP study for these 2.5 million euros, where we will assess the efficacy on insulin sensitivity. Insulin sensitivity is kind of the, uh, the core of uh, the metabolic syndrome where also diabetes is present. So we need to demonstrate efficacy on insulin sensitivity if we want to exit at some point. Right. If that goes well, we will do a full phase two. So three doses, active, best in class active comparator, and a placebo or metformin, it would be, uh, for three months in, uh, yeah, uh, to investigate the safety and efficacy in diabetic patients. And then we aim at exiting to a big pharma. Right, okay. And so, so what, 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 what do you envisage to be the next uh, milestones for the company? Well, we have two milestones uh, in parallel. One is uh, fundraising and uh, preparation for clinical trial application. I hope to um, achieve both within uh, Q2 uh, this year. Okay. So we are working on it. <laughs> I'm always optimistic and I think you have to be to squeeze timelines and I think that is very, very important in this uh, competitive environment that if you're not um, um, being cost effective and is trying to squeeze timelines, you don't really have uh, business to do here. And thereafter it will be the um, first patient, first visit of course in the first safety trial. So within this year, we hope to have uh, completed at least the first uh, clinical trial. Okay, well, well good luck with, 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 with those efforts. Thank you very much for, for stopping by. Yeah.